guys, this is Shauna from Treasure Trove. How's it going? I'm going to do a $5 flash sale for you guys. This is probably going to be the last one that I do for a while. Um, I'd like to try to do an auction in the near future. Um, but I'm going to hold off on the flash sales for a while until we get a few more people in here. Um, first, I want to show you something that I purchased recently. This is for uh -huh. me, 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 me. I bought this from iCats. And if you haven't checked out her channel, she makes some beautiful jewelry. This is actually the second piece that I've got from her. The bottom has this beautiful agate. Some, she does a really nice job with the wire wrapping. And then it has moonstone all the way up. And I cannot wait for spring and summer to get here so I can wear this with a tank top. Thank you, iCats. It's lovely. And it's a lot prettier than what it was in the video. Check her out, guys. I'll put the link down below. Secondly, these I haven't tested yet, but I bought these at a local auction. I paid two and a half dollars a piece for them. They are marked 925. This one needs some love. It's definitely got some tarnish, a patina going on. And then it has this pendant, which I'm going to say is a clear crystal of or glass or rhinestone I don't think it's rhinestone you can see through the back oh it has CZ on it so it must be cubic zirconia I bet 925 CZ it says so I'll throw that in my uh, electronic <coughs> or my uh, my cleaner and hopefully that'll come out nice this is another one. Again, I paid two and a half dollars for it. The chain is marked 925. It's really fine in nice shape. It's a decent length. And then it has this red crystal heart at the bottom. I flip it over the right way. And it has that little heart on the front of it. So I thought that was really pretty. And for two and a half dollars, I just could not pass that up all right next we'll start the sale number one I had this recently that I showed in a lot this is Napier it is black beads that are kind of a flat bead kind of choker length a little longer maybe with gold separator beads and there is the clasp that was number one number two this is just absolutely adorable and I thought about keeping it but I'm not it's a bracelet as you can see it has the toggle clasp and it has kitties and paws and puppies. And the puppies look like schnauzers to me. That one looks like a Dalmatian. Isn't that cute? Five dollars, guys. Number two. This is a really good lot for five dollars. Somebody's really getting a deal on here. We have two signed pieces. This one is Ancline too. It's like a snake type chain. And I can't remember. I'm not, I'm not sure what those are. I'm sure some of you do. I can't think of what they're called. I've been trying to think of it all night. But there's that. And then this, I believe, is made out of the same thing. It is a stretch bracelet. And it has a Monet tag on it. Wow. 
And I believe the tag is the only marking. I don't think there's any actual signature on it, but I could be wrong. I didn't look real close. But yeah, there's that set. That's number three. Number four is this bed style necklace. I really like this. It has these paddle things and it'll have a textured one and then a um, plain one. And it does have a tag and it is marked LC. So that was number four. Number five, I really like this one. It is a long, bold, I don't know what you'd call it, maybe ethnic, um, maybe Greek inspired. I'm just not sure. The chain's kind of a uh, bronzy color. It is not marked. It has a lobster claw clasp. And the little paddles are like hammered. Nice piece. Five dollars. Number six is a signed piece. It is a bracelet and a pair of earrings. I did show these in a haul recently. They are marked LC. There's the bracelet. It does have this uh, shield with the LC on one of the links. And then the earrings are marked on the back with LCI. So if you like red, that's a really cute set. Okay, lot seven is a single bracelet. It is not signed or marked, but it does have the J. Crew clasp, and it is a really big, heavy bracelet. It would make a nice charm bracelet for bigger charms. Lot, let me see, where are we? Lot eight. This is a brooch. It is marked. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it is marked Crown Trifari. And it has the white enamel. I guess it's a leaf. A leaf or a flower. I would say more of a leaf. That was number eight. Number nine is another one that's not marked, but I really, really like this. I need to move my camera back just a little bit. There, that's better. Kind of a kind of a bib style. It um kind of reminds me of a native. It has those black stones in it. It is not silver. I tested it. Oh, yeah. There we go. And then it has the paddles in between. So I like that a lot. It does have some wear on the back of it. But it's still a nice looking piece. It is definitely one that I would wear. <coughs> and we're going to move on to number 10. If you like big, bold, and chunky, this is it. It does have a heart tag, but no initial. And it has all these heavy 
different toned chains on it with a lobster claw clasp and that is a big collar piece big and heavy that was number 10 number 11 comes in a box this is the things remembered again I showed this not too long ago it is a bracelet that I'm not gonna take out of the box it's rhinestones and it has an adjustable clasp if you want to call it a clasp and then if you can see it has the little um, dangle here that you attach the charm to and here's the charm and the charm is all ready to be <coughs> engraved or left as is things are remembered Snap. Number 12 is a necklace. Statement piece. Silver tone. Has a lobster claw. There you go. All these circles and rings. $5. Nice statement piece. That was 12. 13 is two bracelets. These are not marked. This would make a nice charm bracelet. It has the ring clasp. Nice links. Very minimalist look. And then this is a stretch bracelet. Silver and black. It's quite tight. Looks really nice on. I thought those would make a nice pair. Five dollars. Number fourteen. This is pretty. It looks vintage. It is signed Lane Bryant. I like the color of red. Very fancy, and it comes with matching earrings. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Nice, nice set. Lot 14. Lot 15 is a heavy chain choker. I'm going to lay it this way. It has large clear rhinestones. And then on uh, the two, two of the chains, it has smaller rhinestones that are kind of a purplish, almost an have an, almost an aurora borealis effect. There's that. Oh, and it does have a tag. It says Aldo. That's number 15. Number 16 is another two-piece set. Isn't this pretty? It has lobster clasp. No markings that I see. The chain is a double chain. It's like mesh. And then the pendant has all these rhinestones. And then here's the matching earrings. That's 16. 17. Lobster claw clasp. It has all these faceted blue 
like marquee shaped. I don't want to flip. <laughs> okay, you get the idea. You just keep flipping and flipping until we get them all the same way here. There. There is the necklace. Nice length. And the matching earrings. They're showing up a well. Yeah, they are pretty dark. There, there's a good shot. That was 17. Lot 18. Necklace and bracelet. I do not know how to describe this. It's like a brown mesh, kind of. And then it has the two tone, and it is a magnetic clasp. It like fastens in the front. And a matching bracelet. So that's a nice chunky bold look. I I really like that set too. That's 18. Of course, I like everything I've put out in the sale. I think there's some really good deals here. This is um, marked NY. And it's just kind of an antique silver color chain with these um, plastic clear and black beads. And it is a very long piece. Would be nice for layering. That's 19. Number 20, one of my favorite pieces in this lot. This is marked. I doubt if you're going to be able to see it. It's, it's a bangle and it's just almost impossible. But it is marked Monet. And it is in really nice condition. Really shiny. It is small. There's no way I could wear it. Or I'd probably have kept it. But it is definitely a small bracelet. Of course, I have huge hands and wrists. But... And one more piece. Lot 21. This is marked. This is a Premier Design necklace. It has the leather type brown cord lobster claw clasp. Here's the... I don't know if it's going to show up for you or not. It's hard for me to see with the camera at this angle. But there's the tag. And it is also marked on the back of the pendant with the Premier Design. And then there's the front of the pendant. Have some nice stones in there. I'm not sure if they're glass or if they're actual stone. But, yeah, that's really cute. So, that's it for this flash sale, guys. And, like I said, it's going to be the last one for a while. Um, kind of surprises me how long it takes to get ready for this. And I really, really, really need to get busy listing things. I haven't done any listing for a while. And that's starting to be a problem. So, um, let me know if there's anything you're interested in, what you would like. Again, I will put everything together for you. Don't forget to check out the $4 sale if you haven't. Um, send me an email and I'll get back with you. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.